Hello and welcome. We are going to turn 1 7 into its decimal equivalent using long division. So I'm going to walk through this process and I'll do the same for the other sevenths in other videos and then we'll look at a pattern between them. And the pattern is fantastic. So let's start this process. Um, so this is a long division problem and this actually will take quite a bit of work because Dividing 1 by 7 has a nice long repeating sequence of digits. So we're trying to find out how 7 goes into 1 as 7 is larger than 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is set this up so that we're thinking of 1 really as 10. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to add my decimal point, put a 0 here. I know 7 is going to go into 1 less than 1 time. But I think of this as going into 10 here. So I see 1.0, I know it's 1. But I think of it as 10 to start breaking this problem down. So 7 goes into 10 once. And 7 times 1 is 7. Now we subtract to find the remainder. And we can think of this as 10 minus 7, which is 3. 7 does not go into 3 evenly, so we carry a 0 down. I'm just going to write it here. And here, I guess, so I can line it up. 7 goes into 30 three times. Oh, sorry four times, right? 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28. I subtract, 30 minus 28 is 2. Does 7 go into 2? Well, let's carry down a 0 here, right? And we can think, how many times does 7 go into 20? Now that's twice. 7 times 2 is 14, and 20 minus 14 is 6. Again, carry the 0 down, um, thinking of how 7 goes into 6 is difficult, but we can think of 7 going into 60, right? 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56, and 60 minus 56 is 4. 7 going to 4, well, we think of it as 40, and I write these zeros here just to keep track, oops, of my place value. I should even use my line tool to tend to be sloppy here at this. Right, drop this zero down here. Seven goes into 40 um, five times. Seven times five is 35. And even though I might not feel like it, we actually are getting somewhere here. Oops, let me scroll up a little bit. Okay. Okay, well, 40 minus 35 is five. And again, we're carrying our zeros down. And zeros are, it's really important to try and write them neatly so you can keep track of your place value. The 7 go into 50. What goes into it 7 times evenly. 7 times 7 is 49. And we're subtracting again. 50 minus 49. Right? That's 1. We carry this 0 down. And something nice is about to happen. 7 goes into 10 one time. So if we look back up here to our answer, right? Sorry. Um, if we put another 1 here, we notice, oh, maybe the sequence is starting to repeat. I see a 1 and a 1, and it will repeat, right? So I can put this line up here, the bin kilim, to show that this sequence of digits is repeating. But just to convince you, I'm going to do it, right? I'm going to actually show you that it does repeat a little bit. I want to show a few more digits. So we said 7 goes um, into 10 one time, and 7 times 1 is 7. We subtract 10 minus 7, and that's 3. Does 7 go into 3? No, but it goes into 30, and it goes into it 4 times, and 7 times 4 is 28. And we subtract, and we get a 2, and 7 goes into 22 times. And what you might see is happening here. We just said it goes into 30, right, 4 times in this place value here, and then it goes into 22 times. You can see the 1, 4, 2 repeating from here, 1, 4, 2. So here, this 1 and 4 and 2 are already being repeated. And I encourage you to keep going with this. You'll see that, in fact, you we will have a repeating 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 over and over again. But uh, we don't need to write those in there. If you're writing a repeating digits here, you can just write it like that. 1 7th is equal to point. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, repeating. And as gross as that seems, if you go through all the 7ths and look at, a, look at them together, you see a wonderful pattern, right? 1 7th through 6 7th. And we'll explore that in another video. Thanks.